Little Sprouts, who is your best friend? Today's story is about best friends. Best Friends by Mara Bergman and Nicholas Slater. Dexter McFadden, McSimmons McQueen, the dog with the longest legs anyone's seen, was chasing a ball as fast as he could over the bridge and into the wood. Meanwhile, Daisy the Dutch Hand was strolling along, humming and whistling to her favourite song. She ignored the dark flash as it shot through the wood and followed her ball just as fast as she could. Meanwhile, Lily had been for a wash and a cut when she went to the park for a walk and a strut. She was chasing her favourite ball too, ignoring the other dogs, big ones and small. Three dogs were running, where would they go? Dexter like lightning and Daisy so slow. And Lily, who hated to dirty her claws, ran ever so lightly on tippy-toe paws. Meanwhile, William was running as fast as he could, calling for Dexter who ran through the wood, while Jack was happily strolling along, looking for Daisy and singing a song. And Maddie was searching and searching for Lily, who just had her hair cut and looked rather silly. Dexter, called William, and then Jack, Daisy, here. Maddie called, really? But did they appear? The Millers were having a picnic that day and jumped up as Dexter came charging their way. And Daisy gave someone a terrible fright while Lily got mixed up with somebody's kite. Sandwiches, newspapers, blankets went flying and one little baby kept crying and crying. But soon they were off again, dashing about, ignoring each call, every cry, every shout. Dexter called William, then Jack, Daisy here. Maddie called Lily, but did they appear? Then the children grew worried. What was that sound? They ran to the scream. And look what they found. Dexter and Daisy and Lily all wet, each was the soggiest, happiest pet. With a wriggle and shake, the dogs made a splatter. The children got soaked, but it didn't matter. And this is the way that our story ends. The children and dogs became best friends. <laughs>